All right, so I'm just going to go over my Amonkhet deck that I ran tonight for pre-release. Uh, I don't know, just thought I'd kind of go over what how some of the cards were for me and how uh, my deck went tonight. Uh, so I went 3-1, which is uh, pretty on par for what I do. Usually I 3-1 or 2-2, two, two, but, you know, it's pre-release, so whatever. Uh, so I ran kind of a, uh, Minotaur Tribal deck tonight. Uh, I had a lot of, uh, Minotaurs. I had this Crusher. I had, uh, Neheb, which is the legendary Minotaur. Gives every Minotaur, uh, first strike. And if you only have one or zero cards, then, uh, they all get plus two plus O. Oh, so... Having those uh, first strike, you know, minotaurs that have plus two, plus O, oh, it's pretty hard to stop them. Uh, I also had this minotaur, which is a 3-2 with menace. Uh, it's a zombie, but it's also a minotaur. Uh, I had two, th uh, two of these thresher lizards, uh, which if you have one or fewer cards, it's a 4-4. Four -four. So I had a lot of synergy with, <clears throat> with that. Um kind of a non-bow with this draw two cards, but I, th I figured the value of getting two cards is kind of worth it most of the time. Um, so I also had some more Minotaurs. I had this Merciless Javelinier, uh, which you can also discard a card off of it to put a minus, mon a minus one, minus one on a uh, target creature. Um, I also had this Minotaur, uh, which could exert and get plus one plus one in menace <laughs> so i had a lot of minotaurs um i think now if you're looking at my curve you'll see i have a lot of four drops five drops and six drops i think it's a little bit deceptive and i actually kind of uh increased my curve as the night went on because i realized a lot of these cards weren't doing a whole lot for me and a lot of these cards were just awesome um, I started out with this, uh, the, these beasts, the Ceridon, I always had them in there, um, because despite the fact that they are six drops, sorry, I'm trying to, uh, let you see the card, uh, despite the fact that they are six drops, they cycle for one red mana. So you can just cycle them if you don't have six mana. Uh, you can do it on turn one, turn two, you know, anytime you feel like you're uh, going to miss a land drop or you're not going to be able to play a card. So, definitely a lot better than it looks, I think. Um, uh, some of the other great cards, I also had Archfiend. Archfiend of Ifnir. Uh, so, if you play this and you cycle a card, you put minus one, minus one counters on all of their creatures. So it's pretty gross. Uh, you can discard cards off the Minotaur. Uh, which one? This uh, Javelinier. Um, you can also cycle a lot of the cards in this deck. Um, this Limits of Solidarity you can cycle. Uh, Violent Impact, which destroys a land or artifact. Um, obviously these Ceridons you can uh, cycle. So there's, there's quite a few cards you can cycle. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I guess just this Ifnir, but obviously you don't want to... I, I usually did not want to cycle him. Um, True Heart Twins, just kind of a good value card. Uh, it's a 5-mana 4-4, four, four, but if you exert it, all your creatures get plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Uh, works really well with the Minotaurs, you know, especially if they all have first strike. <laughs> Uh, Glorybringer, just another uh, insane card. Let's see if I can uh, make this focus a little more. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, it's a 5 mana 4-4, four, four, but if you exert it, it does 4 damage to a non-dragon creature. <laughs> so, usually it just kills an opponent's creature. Um, so, the real... I'm going to talk about the weaknesses of this deck. Uh, this Adept is... I think it's pretty good as a 1-drop, but 
I usually just was not able to cast it on, I don't think I ever casted it on turn one. Uh, so that, that definitely did not work out for me. Uh, fling, uh, I did not really get to use it, like, ever. Um, there were a couple times it was just a dead card. Uh, but I think it could have been good. I don't think it was wrong to put it in the deck. Um, like I said, I already mentioned the painful lesson. Uh, kind of, kind of goes against the whole theme of the deck, which is to get cards in your, cards out of your hand. But, uh, it was fine. You know, whatever. Um... I, th I think every other card was pretty good, but the weakness was I did not have a lot of removal. So one of the only removal cards I had was Electrify. Uh, deal four, four damage to target creatures. So uh, if you look at the cards in this deck, there's like there's pretty much no way to kill. Uh, aside from Fling, I guess. There's really no way, there's no way to like kill my opponents, um, you know, like five fives. <laughs> so it's kind of bad. So uh, the way this deck would win is if I could get if I could get some of my Minotaurs out on turn three, uh, like the Crusher was really good on turn three. Uh, it also has haste, so it's just like insane. Um, if you can go like Neheb into Crusher, um, like turn three, turn four, because then you're basically you can do like I don't know what, at least five damage. Uh, that's usually unblockable um so oh and uh pitiless vizier i don't even know if i mentioned that that's also really good uh whenever you cycle or discard a card it gets indestructible so pretty sick uh, i went the typical uh 17 lands so nine nine mountains eight swamps i don't know i think that seemed pretty obvious you know especially with the Ceridons. Um definitely needed the red mana more than anything else, but uh, so that's pretty much my deck. But yeah, if I could get out my uh, Minotaurs, I, I just usually, usually I just like destroy my opponent. So definitely fun, crazy to see all these Minotaurs. Crazy that it worked out. I mean, I had like one, two, three, four, five six minotaurs at least so yeah pretty crazy minotaurs splashing a demon and a dragon <laughs> so pretty gross so uh yeah hope hope you uh got something out of this maybe it'll teach you how to run your deck get some packs i got i got three packs they said they're gonna give me uh three more once release once release day comes, so I got like six packs basically. Pretty sick. Uh, so hopefully this helps you have an idea of if, if you're going to go into red black, what the kind of stuff that you need. Uh, definitely look for like probably a little more removal than what I have is would be good uh, if you get some good black removal. But uh, usually Rakdos works out pretty well at pre pre release, so look out for these kind of cards, especially if you get the. Archfiend and the uh, Glorybringer, you know, they're just crazy. And and definitely, definitely put these cards in too, because they're insane. I mean, just being able to cycle them, and if you get the six mana, you get a six four. Yeah, pretty sweet. So, hope that helped. Thanks a lot, guys.